this. So even the negative will have served you by showing you the contrast of what you don't prefer so you can more clearly understand what you do. So everything can still work to your favor. That's what we were talking about earlier by talking about the idea that a mistake is not really a mistake if you don't use it as a negative thing. Right. You can't really make a wrong choice if you choose to learn something from the choice that you don't prefer. Because many times it's easier for people on your planet because of the way they have been brought up to see the light by first experiencing more darkness because it helps them recognize the difference. And therefore, you're using the darkness in a positive way to help you see the light more easily. Yes? Yeah. So the more you experience the fear, all that tells you is you're holding on to belief systems that are out of alignment with your true self. You're holding on to belief systems that don't work for you. That's all. It's just a mechanism. That's all it is. It's like saying, I'm going to drive a car and I'm going to have my foot on the gas and on the brake simultaneously. And just for good measure, I'm going to also put the parking brake on. That's not how you drive a car, is it? Right. So your engine's going to squeal and screech and start to smoke. And you're going to wonder, why I'm not getting anywhere? It's making all this racket and ooh, 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 isn't that scary? When all you have to do is release the parking brake and take your foot off the brake and you'll move. That's all. So all of that storm and lightning and thunder and fear is just you with your foot on the brake. That's all. Take your foot off the brake and you will zip forward and you'll see that there was no reason to be afraid. That's what's been happening with yes. me over the past year. I and know. I guess I feel like I don't know what to do from here on. So just release the parking brake. Take the small steps you know you can take by acting at every moment on the thing that contains a little bit more excitement than the next thing and just keep acting on it to the best of your ability with no insistence on where that should lead or how it should look or what the outcome is about. And the more you do that, the more practice you will have with knowing it's okay to start acting on more excitement and bigger things that excite you. And you will train yourself to understand that that's what you actually prefer and your fears will subside because you'll be having so much fun, you will no longer want to pay attention to the negative belief that's shouting at you to stop. You will then know when to slow down, when to speed up in a more natural way, according to what you prefer, not what the negative belief tries to convince you is true about you. You will know what is true about you, and you won't have to pay attention to it anymore in the same way. I like that. I feel like I don't trust my decisions. Oh, absolutely you don't. Yeah. But that's so, the idea is because not trusting your decisions. Mm -hmm is a decision. Right. And that's the one you're trusting. You are trusting your decision. It's just that you're choosing to trust the negative one.